This conference will now be recorded. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Audible? Okay, let's start. Yes, sir, audible, sir. So we were working on the project, right? Just a second. <clears throat> Weather forecasting, weather forecasting, weather forecasting. This is actually the project. Okay. Let me run the code once again go to the cell run all okay so i was talking about uh, random search so i was talking about uh, uh, cross, uh, yeah, cross validation, random search with cross validation. Now I have used this randomized search CV, randomized search CV. So I had already told you about this lin space, lin space means this is actually the starting, this is the stopping, and ten numbers between 200, ten linearly spaced number between 200 and 2000. Okay, the number of features. Auto and SQRT. These are the two features to consider in every split. So how many split will be taken? How many split will be taken? 10 splits. 10 splits. Okay. Depth will be also 10. Because the number of splits is 10. So the depth is also going to be 10. Okay. So again, lin space between 10 and 100 uh, with 10 linearly spaced numbers. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, something like that. Okay. Getting the point? And just have a look. This is the when we are splitting na? when we are splitting actually. So the minimum number of samples that we actually need for each split. So for the first split, the minimum sample is two and for the next split, it's five and for the next split, it's ten. Right. Getting the point. OK, and this is actually the leaf samples. The minimum number of samples required for at each leaf. Selection, the bootstrap, the bootstrap model. Okay, so this is actually the method of selecting the sample for each training for each training means here we are using random forest. So we have got multiple trees. Okay, so how many trees we have? How many trees we have if I just consider this np dot lean space and if I take this I'll just copy this and and here if I create one cell Okay, and if I run this so What's going on? Oh, I need to delete this cell. The reason is that this is still running. It will take a lot of time. It will take a lot of time. Darshan, remember you said na, that so I was actually running this and it actually my system hang. Yes, sir. Yeah, so it is going to take some time. Here it is going to take some time. But by the way, let me tell that this is actually the number of tree. When I showed you a random forest, when I was showing you decision tree, I showed you random forest. So here, random forest. Okay, I will just go to one uh, new. Uh, suppose I'll go to this JS plus nine. Okay. Just a second. Now this is also going to take a lot of time because a lot of memory is getting consumed over here in this random search, in this random forest regression. A lot of memory is getting consumed. That's why it's taking a lot of time. So let it open. Okay, it will take a lot of time. I know it's going to take a lot of time. So whatever. So here we have the starting from 200 till 2000. Okay, 
So for first, it's going to be 200, second, it's going to be 400, then 600, then 800, then 1000, then 1200, something like that. So much number of trees, starting from 200 till 2000. Okay, this is the features and the maximum level at which, uh, at the maximum depth, depth at which the tree is going to traverse. Okay, so here I have taken 10. Why 10? Because uh, here, see, it's basically there is no such parameter to calculating this max depth. Okay, uh, but sp still, uh, you should do something like this. Uh, here you have taken from 200 to 2000. So basically, uh, how many intervals are going to give inside 10 intervals, right? So here also we will traverse the tree till max depth 10. And this is the minimum split and the minimum number of leaves required, the bootstrap. Okay, this is actually the method of selecting the samples from the training data set or from each tree. Okay, for training each tree, the minimum or the method of selecting basically. And this is actually the random grid. This is the grid that we have actually made. Random grid. Random grid that we have basically made. Random grid. Okay. Getting the point? The first parameter that we have passed over here is the N estimators. The N estimators is the number of trees you want to build. Okay. The number of trees you want to build. This is actually the number of trees that you want to build. Okay. Number of trees that you want to build. The next is the next parameter is max features. Max feature is the maximum number of features. Random forest is allowing to train an individual tree. The maximum number of features. Random forest is allowing to train a tree to train a tree individually match depth match depth parameter it is actually the limit up to what depth up to what depth depth my tree should grow up to what depth my tree should grow always remember always remember you should uh, to avoid the overfitting okay to avoid the overfitting we have actually written this match depth we have allowed this max depth to avoid overfitting. Otherwise, if the tree traverses a long depth, then it is going to go for suffer from overfitting. Then it's going to suffer from overfitting. Right? The next parameter is basically mean underscore samples underscore split. So mean underscore samples underscore is split is the minimum number of sample required to split an internal node. Okay, the minimum number of samples required to split an internal node. Getting the point? Okay, now the next parameter is minimum sample leaf. Mean sample leaf. See, the mean sample leaf is basically the minimum number of samples required to be a leaf node. The minimum samples required to be a leaf node. Getting the point? The minimum number of samples required to be a leaf node. Okay, the minimum number of samples required to be a leaf node. And the last one is a bootstrap okay bootstrap what is this bootstrap this is a new term to you all okay bootstrap see bootstrap whenever when e when training when training each tree in a random forest basically it learns from a random sample of data points okay random sample of data points each tree in the random forest learns from random sample of data points so the samples are, are drawn with replacements replacements and this replacement is known as bootstrap or bootstrap what does it mean it means that some samples might be used multiple number of times for a single tree some samples might be used multiple number of times for a single tree okay this is what we called bootstrap this is what we called bootstrap clear to everybody hello is it clear to everyone Bootstrap ka matlab hota hai ki ek sample ko agar aap tree ko train kar rahe ho with using one sample. So future mein that sample can again be used on the tree. Means a single sample can be used multiple times for a single tree. Getting the point? That's what we call bootstrap. Okay. So these are basically the features. Okay. These are basically the features. Right. These are basically the features. Okay, these are basically the features. Now, now, as you can see, as you can see, 
uh, one one where I have written basically I have written what to say uh, max features inside a max feature variable will take auto and sqrt auto and sqrt I have taken now just have a look auto and sqrt okay so both are same they both compute to max features or the maximum features they both compute to the maximum features basically these actually represents the best estimators this actually represents the best estimators okay getting the point this basically represents the best estimators right so so here i have taken one auto max feature equal to auto and the next i have taken uh, it's sqrt i have taken sqrt okay getting the point so this random search is actually the random forest or random search is a method in which random combination of hyper hyperparameters are selected and it is used to train a model the best random hyperparameter combinations are used and random forest bears some similarity to grid search getting the point try to understand if you face any problem just tell me yes i got it okay no problem with this yes, sir. that's it now see now the model is basically fit see it will take a bit time it took bit time i give the explanations also and see fit. see perfect the algorithm we have got. sir i have one question sir Rohit, Rohit, please tell. Yes, sir. Not regarding this uh, this code, sir. I have uh, some query regarding so, sir. When we are creating some model, we will deploy uh, in backend of some interface. If um, this model, if some model taking some time, will it um, will uh, its effect uh, to get the output of some operations? Ah, uh, see, Rohit. We are actually yes, testing this model in our system. Okay, whenever we will de uh, uh, deploy this model using any Flask API or anything, okay, whenever we deploy that model, mm -hmm. first of all, we are actually creating a small model, means we are actually doing the experiment. Okay, these things are never performed when they are performed in the server and not they are server is highly, it is much more faster than our what to say, uh, our system basically. So sometimes, sometimes if it takes time to respond, okay, definitely the server might or the server has to be ready for this type of situation. Okay, otherwise, if this thing is taking much, um, so much time over here, don't think that again, this model is going to take this time on the, what to say, um, on the data set, next data set. Okay, okay, because when you are building the model, na, Rohit, you are when you are applying or when you are deploying it in the back end, always remember that you are not creating a model again. So there is no question of taking the time. There is no question of taking the time. Okay, okay sir. Getting the point. You do you okay. are creating see last class I showed you how to save the model with dot h5 extension and all those in the previous yes, process. Sir. So once yes, you create and train, once you create a model, once the model is trained and once the model you save it, that particular model is actually deployed at the back end. Means there, this code is not performed, basically. This code is actually performed on a experiment or on a lab. Okay, the model is actually built successfully and the end product is given to the client. Okay? Okay, sir. Right. So this code is, you need to write this code. You need to do uh, write this code, but this code you don't need to write because I said now, I said now that the model that the model that we are building, okay, our machine learning model that we are building, I told in the first class, there is no human intervention in that. Okay, there is no such human intervention. Getting the point. 
human intervention no such human intervention so this model is basically itself a smart model we don't need to build it again and again right it will get okay, new sir. data okay. from the user and it will give the prediction okay so sir. see yeah so see here this particular thing is okay perfect now now if i run this if i run this so rf underscore random rf underscore random is the variable okay or this is the model this randomized search cv this is the model and this uh, best underscore params underscore is actually giving us the best parameter okay this is giving us actually the best parameters it is giving the best parameter means parameter estimation we are actually doing what using this randomized search cv we are actually doing what we are actually making a parameter estimation using cross validation okay using cross validation so here also it is actually giving us the best parameters it is giving us the best parameter okay so whenever it will run it will give you the output it will give you the output it is going to give you the output as you can see over here it's still running so it will take some time to give the best parameters to give the best parameter this is the model and best underscore params underscore this is the right no issue no sir no problem na? okay so let it execute because if it doesn't execute now our next task is not going to uh, miss this is actually the evaluation function we are passing the test features then we are passing the test level and we will find out how much accuracy our model basically gives how much accuracy our models basically gives this but until and unless this runs uh, we won't get the output okay we won't get the output right so let it execute let it execute let it execute okay so again again i will try to make few things clear okay the first thing that i want to make it clear is that here we went for feature selection basically here we went for feature selection so i have done feature selection using the random search cv okay and the same thing same thing grid search is also available okay grid search cv is also available i have performed using that also so grid search cv is also a helps through predefined hyperparameters or we can say it fits or it fits the model of our training set and in the end we can select the best parameter from the listed hyperparameters we can select the best parameters from the listed hyperparameters okay listed hyper parameter now in your mind one question might arise and the question is that sir you are using randomized search cv also and you are using grid search cv also sir why which one is better which one is better see i am telling that we are actually doing hyper parameter tuning okay we are actually doing hyper parameter tuning hyperparameter tuning means means when building a machine learning model we always define two things what are the two things the two things are that we need the model parameter and the model hyperparameters of that predictive algorithm so what are the model parameters the model parameters are the ones that are the internal part of the model and their value is basically computed automatically by the model that we know simple like a support vector machine okay but hyperparameters are actually the ones that can be manipulated by the programmer to improve the performance of the model okay just i did right now these are the hyperparameters hyperparameters are basically manipulated by the performance or by manipulated by the actually the developer itself or the programmer itself so this randomized search cv this grid search cv they basically help us to manipulate these hyperparameters okay and they are one that commands over the algorithm they actually guide the algorithm they actually rule the algorithm okay getting the point 
first of all what is hyperparameter tuning that also i told you still i would like to repeat that hyperparameter tuning is actually the process of tuning the parameter okay while building the machine learning model why we tune the parameter we tune these parameters because these parameters are defined by us and it can be manipulated by the programmer according to the wish so that when we use the machine learning algorithms these parameters proves to be the best okay this parameter proves to be the best so they are tuned in such a way that we get the good performance or we get the end product of the highest known accuracy of that particular model so hyper parameter tuning is basically aims at finding such parameters where the performance of the model is highest and where the performance is the model is best and the error rate is least error rate is least error rate is least okay getting the point now is it clear yes, yes sir okay anybody else do anybody have else have any any doubt any doubt any doubt do anybody else has so here i am using randomized search cv also and here i am using grid search cv also okay so randomized search cv and grid search cv let us see basically uh, this the only difference between these uh, both the approaches I, I, you know what it is in the grid search we define actually the combinations okay we define the combination and do the training and in randomized search cv the model actually selects the combination in grid search we define the combination and in randomized search the model selects the combination of its own randomly okay but both have proved to be effective and excellent way of tuning the parameters so that the model generalability is getting increased or gets increased clear to everybody hope so now there is no doubt no problem with that each and everything is 100% clear to everybody okay so is it giving yeah see so see randomly it is chosen the end estimators is 200 means here i have taken 200 then 400 then 600 now see 10 now so 200 then 400 then 600 then 800 then 1000 then 1200 1400 1600 1800 then 2000 no they the, see it has told that the an estimator is 200 maximum split will be 5 mean leaf will be 4 and the maximum features will be auto and max depth it is traversing till true and bootstrap will be true so best features have been selected rest whatever i have defined over here these are of no use so from here 2 is of no use 5 10 is of no use 5 is of use here 1 and 2 is of no use 4 is of use here false is of no use true true is of use okay here 200 is of use rest 400 till 2000 is of no use here auto is of use sqrt is of no use okay here 10 is of use rest rest over uh, 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 no use that's it that's so one question can. yes so can you scroll up once yes so what yes sir. so in the max sample split max mean sample mean sample split and mean sample leaves so the 2510 whether always we give 2510 or whether it can change means see i have taken here see what is what is the depth that i have taken here okay the depth i have taken here is basically 10 right so yes. i gave 2 5 10 one mid you have to give i've started from 2 i've started till 10. this this one is required as you know 10 is required 10 is the mandatory now because this tree is traversing till okay here you can give some other values also no problem with that okay and sir mean sample leaf mean what sample leaf see, basically in mean sample leaf here i have given one two three four five see till four it is generally maximum basically no parameter is basically there in order to calculate a mean a mean sample leaf okay mean sample leaf. so we try to have a see if we if a tree has got a minimum number of sample four at each leaf that is enough na? we basically at a leaf we have two or one one or basically two yes no 
or one if it is giving a final answer okay or three or maximum four that is yes, means, means, yes sir, means means uh, mean sample split two comma five we can change that basically we can yeah, give can three comma four nah, nah, nah. we can give yes 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 you can change this no problem with that that doesn't mean that you have to write this only okay the last part is mandatory till before that you can take the algorithm uh, you can take the number according to your choice okay so and for mean sample leave one two three four mean these four are maximum yeah don't go beyond four okay don't go beyond four or five don't go beyond four or five okay because एक एक अगर स्प्लिट हमको मिल रहा है ठीक है जिसमें हमारा पांच लीफ है या फिर चार लीफ है वो बहुत ज्यादा है क्या यस सर राइट एनी मोर क्वेश्चन नो सर ओके सो दैट्स इट सो हियर वी हैव गॉट द एस्टिमेटर्स हियर वी हैव गॉट द एस्टिमेटर्स चलो नाउ दिस इज द इवेल्युएशन फंक्शन माने हमारा इसका एक्यूरेसी बेसिकली कितना है एक्यूरेसी कितना है अब इसको हम लोग रन कराते हैं तो देखिएगा हमारा मॉडल हमारा क्या करेगा इट विल गिव द परफॉर्मेंस ओके इट विल गिव द परफॉर्मेंस सो इवैल्यूएट को हम लोगों ने कॉल कर दिया देखिएगा एक्यूरेसी ऊपर वाला ऊपर वाला लाइन भी तो रन होगा ऊपर वाला रन लाइन क्यों रन होगा कौन सा रन ये दिस वन और चाहिए सर ये फंक्शन के अंदर है ना ये तो फंक्शन है ना ये फंक्शन को इवैल्यूएट से तो मैंने यहां कॉल किया है देखिए कॉल किया यस 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 ठीक है और मॉडल को पास कर दिया उसके अंदर मॉडल देखिए बेस मॉडल के अंदर हमारा रैंडम फॉरेस्ट रिग्रेशन मॉडल है ये रहेगा हमारा बेस मॉडल यहां पर हम लोगों ने फीचर्स को पास कर दिया यहां पर हम लोगों ने लेबल्स को पास कर दिया बिकॉज़ इट इज डिमांडिंग फॉर दिस थिंग ना फर्स्ट द मॉडल देन द टेस्ट फीचर्स देन द टेस्ट लेबल सो टेस्ट फीचर टेस्ट दैट्स इट ये मींस सर डिफॉल्ट मॉडल है जो हम लोग रैंडम फॉरेस्ट लिखते हैं वो डिफॉल्ट है अभी डिफॉल्ट मॉडल ओके एल्गोरिथम है हमारा लर्निंग लर्निंग मॉडल है ठीक है रैंडम फॉरेस्ट रिग्रेसर 100 1000 ट्रीज Random state 42 and here we can see that it's our rupee to yahan par 1200 tree bana ke dekhte hain pad raha hai ya nahi 94% tha na accuracy hmm. 94.22 aur kam gaya 1000 bane dete hain ha nahi nahi badha tha badha tha if i make a 1500 Let's see. 94.21 or 22. This is actually our estimated. 94.21 and 94.22. 94.24. So, खास कुछ changes हमको नहीं मिल रहा है. So leave it as it is. Okay. 0.02 percent का मिल रहा है changes. तो वो कोई खास बड़ा चीज नहीं है. Okay. So it's 9.22 मिल रहा था ना. तो least number हमारा tree लेना चाहिए. ठीक है. So that our model becomes fast. So that's it. So it is giving us an accuracy. I think 94.21 it will give. Yeah, 94.21. So if every increase of 500 tree, I am getting 0.03 percent extra. So what is the use? If I do more tree, then my model might say suffer from overfitting. Right? That's why. That's it. And the error is actually 3.262, which is quite good. Okay. Now this is done basically. This is done basically. Now. we will actually evaluate the best random search model this is actually we evaluated the default model and here we are actually evaluating the best random search model so this is actually the model performance this is the performance of the model okay this is actually the performance of the model best random best random is where best random uh, best random hum logo ne kahi define kiya tha definitely dekhiyega बेस्ट रैंडम वहीं पे डिफाइंड है आपका आर एफ रैंडम ऊपर डिफाइंड ओके okay, बेस्ट रैंडम कहां डिफाइंड है सर लाइन 32 में बेस्ट रैंडम इक्वल्स टू आर एफ अंडरस्कोर रैंडम डॉट बेस्ट अंडरस्कोर एस्टीमेटर डॉट रैंडम यस आर एफ द मॉडल दैट वी वी एक्चुअली कैलकुलेटेड ना हम लोगों ने जो बनाया हम लोगों ने जो बनाया ठीक है हम लोगों ने पैरामीटर ट्यूनिंग हाइपर पैरामीटर ट्यूनिंग जो किया अब उससे हम लोग क्या कर रहे हैं सेम थिंग इवैल्यूएट मॉडल को कॉल कर रहे हैं तो यहां पर 94.2 94.37 दे रहा है बेस्ट एस्टीमेटर बेस्ट एस्टीमेटर हाँ बेस्ट एस्टीमेटर देखिए हम लोगों ने यहाँ पर यूज किया हुआ है बेस्ट पैरामीटर है रैंडम फॉरेस्ट का बेस्ट एस्टीमेटर लेंगे ठीक है यहाँ पर हमारा पैरामीटर्स है ठीक है अब ये पैरामीटर्स दीज आर एक्चुअली एस्टिमेटर्स ओके वी आर यूजिंग ओवर इयर ओके सर बट ओके इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन प्रिंट दिस बेस्ट बेस्ट रैंडम एंड यू कैन सी चलिए 
sea. Okay. Right? Got it? These are the best estimates. So, what did you see here? These parameters. Parameters. And when this parameter in, 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 went inside this uh, algorithm, went inside the algorithm, it becomes, it becomes the best estimators. It becomes the best estimator. Getting the point? And since we have evaluated the model, we can see slight increase, 94.37. 94.37. Right? Now, let's apply the grid search. Let's apply the grid search. This is actually the grid search model. The same thing. Sab kuch wahi hai. Dekho, sab kuch wahi hai. Dekhi, same code ko copy paste yaha par kiya hua hai. Thik hai. Lekin khali wahi chiz hai grid search. Grid search method ko yaha par apply kiya gaya hai. Grid search CV. Have a look, please. Grid search CV. Grid search CV. Giving you a little bit of time, just have a look. Hello, any doubt? Darshan, any problem? No problem. Na? Here one term. Here one term might be uh, confusing to you. CV. CV equal to 3. So that is actually the number of cross validation that we have to try for each selected set of hyperparameter. Number of cross validations that we have to try for each selected set of hyperparameter. Okay. Uska baat dekhega, verbos likha hua hai. verbos basically kya hota hai? Ye detail hai. Detail. Detail, verbose 1, 2, 3. Okay, but the detailed print out. Detail print. Okay, detail print. For that only we use verbose. Detail print. It can be 1 also, it can be 2 also, it can be 3 also. Yeah, just this come I run karanga na. When I run this na. So it is going to, if I run this, it will take some time. Okay, so you see, are you getting this? Verbose equal to, see, it is writing up something like this. Fitting three models, each of 288 trees or candidates. Okay. Totaling 864 fits. Okay. Means 288. Total inside the test, there is 288. I think it said the train, there is 288. Wait, 288. 261 hai total. Yaha par hamara teen bar kar kale ya ja hai. Three times. Wait. Wait. Ah. See. So grids are CV. So total fitting three folds since we have taken CV equal to three, each of 54 candidates totally find 162 fits. So total number of data set is fitted three times on the model. Okay. And here you are seeing now all these writings, all these done 33 times, done 54, that done 162. All this is because of these two, variables equal to two. The end okay. Sorry. End jobs. Hello. End jobs. End jobs. End underscore jobs. Ah, in underscore jobs. Okay. In underscore jobs. Here in underscore jobs I have written minus one. Okay. Here in underscore jobs I have written minus one basically. This basically, this basically means 
the parallel executions. Okay, n underscore jobs. Basically, I would like to say. Sometimes parallel may not be or parallel execution may not be beneficial for very fast operation. Okay, parallel execution might not be beneficial for for what to say fast jobs. So we are making n a jobs equal to minus one. N a jobs equal to minus one or one. If we write n jobs equal to one, means it utilizes hundred percent of the CPU. Okay, with n underscore jobs equal to one, utilizes hundred percent of the CPU. Getting the point? And if one is given, na, कोई पैरल पैरलिज्म यूज नहीं होता है. और यहां पर अगर हम लोग माइनस वन देते हैं तो सीपीयू का एक कोर नहीं सीपीयू ऑल सीपीयू फुल सीपीयू का जितना भी ये है टाइम है ये पूरा एग्जीक्यूट हो जाए मतलब यूज हो जाए पूरा सीपीयू यूज हो जाए इफ यू आर सेटिंग इन जॉब्स टू माइनस वन गेटिंग द पॉइंट क्लियर हुआ इफ वी गो गेव एन जॉब्स इक्वल टू माइनस वन all the computations on the machine will start using all the cores all core cpu mein to bahut sara core hota hai na matlab cpu ka hum bol sakte hain cpu multi threading type use ho raha hai cpu is using in multi threading type multi threading type if the value of n job is set to minus 1 you just understand that full cpu is utilized full cpu is utilized okay माइनस वन मीन ऑल कोर्स ऑल कोर्स सीपीयू का जितना कोर होता है ना सीओ आर कोर ऑल कोर्स गेटिंग द पॉइंट सो इट्स ऑलवेज बेटर टू पुट माइनस वन सो एन जॉब इक्वल टू माइनस वन मीन्स दैट वी वांट टू यूज ऑल द कोर्स प्रेजेंट इन द सीपीयू एंड इफ यू स्पेसिफाई एनी पर्टिकुलर वैल्यू लाइक टू थ्री फोर फाइव that five six that means we are using four four cores of the cpu if you are using five five cores of the cpu if you are using six six cores of the cpu if you are using a seven then seven core of the cpu getting the point so this is basically the use this is basically the use of n jobs right so it's better to use minus one always now it's working now let's see the best parameters it will take some time any further any more questions so this is going to take a good time so let it take let it take let it take okay till it is taking time let me do one thing let me share you the tutorials that i actually made for you all aap logo ke liye maine jo tutorial banaya tha main wo tutorial ko share kar डिटेक्शन जीएस क्लास नाइन जीएस क्लास नाइन अच्छा डेटा सेट किस डेटा सेट पे मैंने काम किया था याद है 
के वो आपका शायद एनिमली डिटेक्शन में जो था जेड स्कोर वो तो आपका आपने बनाया था हाँ, इससे पहले जीआईएस क्लास नाइन पे कौन सा डेटा सेट था शायद एक बाइक का डेटा सेट शायद एक बाइक का शायद सर सर यस यस बाइक का ही डेटा सेट था सर आपका ओपन है जीआईएस क्लास नाइन हाँ बाइक का ही डेटा सेट है राइट right. yes, तो आपको दे देता हूँ weather prediction okay so again it's taking a lot of time so let it be let it be theek hai gis 9 class 9 mein kya tha ha ye to bike ka hi data set tha theek hai isko main close kar deta hu ye hamara yahan tak ho gaya अच्छा उसको होने दीजिए मेरे पास यहाँ पर एक और डेटा सेट है ठीक है हार्ट हार्ट डॉट सी एस बी एज जेंडर सीपी थ्रेस होल्ड कोलेस्ट्रॉल फाइबर ठीक है ऐसा करके हमारे पास एक डेटा सेट है ओके सो ये डेटा सेट जो है मेरे पास हो हो गया शायद हो गया शायद ना ठीक है देख लेते हैं हम लोग ओके सो मॉडल का यहाँ पर हमारा बेसिकली प्रोडिक्शन आ रहा है आ रहा है 94.41 जो कि कहीं को नहीं इससे थोड़ा ज्यादा ही है ग्रिड सर्च नहीं नहीं ग्रिड सर्च का ज्यादा है यहाँ पर ये लोग का मुकाबला क्या था 94.37 ग्रिड सर्च इज गिविंग 93. जो भी हो रहा है ग्रिड सर्च आपका रैंडमाइज सर्च से ज्यादा देगा ही ठीक है अब इसको रन करते हैं दिस इज द एल्गोरिथम जहां पर हम लोग बेसिकली फिर से रन कर दिए क्या उसको ओहो नहीं ठीक ही है ये ग्रिड सर्च को और एक ठो है ये ग्रिड सर्च को और एक ठो मतलब आपने ग्रिड सर्च का दो बार कोड लिखा है अच्छा ठीक है यहां पर हमारा क्यूरेसी कितना आ रहा है नाइनटी और सर वहां पे 94.41 आया था आपका मींस पहले से साइड रन किया हुआ है शो क्रिएट अ बेस मॉडल एंड इनिशिएट द क्रिएट सर्च मॉडल मैंने एक ही कोड को दो बार लिख दिया है नहीं सर okay. आपने सर पैरामीटर्स चेंज किए हैं पैराम जो ग्रिड है वो चेंज किए हैं 80 90 100 एंड 110 ये कुछ फायदा होगा नहीं मुझे मालूम है आई नो इट्स नॉट गोइंग टू वर्क ठीक है बेसिकली जो होना था इसका If I run this and if I run this, uh, so 94. 94. थोड़ा सा ऑल्टर हुआ है नाउ द फाइनल मॉडल यहाँ पर मैंने बेस्ट बेस्ट ग्रिड को भेज दिया है बेस्ट ग्रिड बेसिकली क्या है हमारा ग्रिड सर सर ऊपर वाला नहीं सर ये नहीं इसके ऊपर वाला यहाँ पे ये वाला ओके सो रन कराते इसको फाइनल मॉडल रन सो नाइनटी फोर पॉइंट फोर जीरो मॉडल द फाइनल मॉडल ठीक ही ठीक ही है इट्स ओके I don't think it's bad, isn't it? Ninety-four yes. near near about to ninety-five percent accuracy. Near about, not bad, isn't it? Not bad. ये ये दिया मैंने आप लोगों को ग्रुप में देखिए तो जरा
I think I gave this, na? Sir? I think I gave this. मैंने ये दिया है आप लोगों को? एक बार चेक करिएगा. Yes, sir. Weather prediction दे दिया. Weather prediction dot ipy. So this is basically the most advanced part of random search regression. ठीक है. इससे advanced आपको कुछ नहीं मिलेगा. और कहीं code मिलेगा भी नहीं आपको. ठीक है. मैंने basically दो चार इधर उधर मिल सकता है. But the most exam high level का जो examination जो होता है वो मैंने आपको यहाँ पर करके दे दिया. देखिए. ठीक है आई हैव गिवन द मोस्ट हाई लेवल कोड एंड इट्स एक्चुअली अराउंड 94.40 मींस आई हैव शोड यू फीचर सिलेक्शन मैंने आपको फीचर इंजीनियरिंग बता दिया ठीक है फीचर सिलेक्शन फाइनल मॉडल क्रिएटिंग द मॉडल यूजिंग ग्रिड सर्च यूजिंग रैंडम सर्च ओके सो ऑल दिस थिंग्स आई हैव शोड यू बेसिकली आई हैव शोड इट टू यू ऑल दिस थिंग्स एंड दिस इज बेसिकली कम्स अंडर अ Terminology that is called feature engineering. Feature engineering. So, I have told you about total feature engineering. Basically, you have told me about it. Okay, there is no problem, right? If there are doubts, please tell me. Okay, so we take your time. Don't worry, take your time. Do anybody has any doubt? So, our three projects, which are successfully, we have done this complete. Three projects, which we have done successfully complete. So, if I minimize this, what was the project? I think I didn't save it at that time. I closed my laptop. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, डेटा साइंस एंड मशीन लर्निंग सबसे के पहले जो प्रोजेक्ट था हमारा बेसिकली वो क्या है और पहला प्रोजेक्ट क्या सर फ्लड प्रेडिक्शन फ्लड फोरकास्टिंग फ्लड फोरकास्टिंग दूसरा हमारा जो था वो है स्टॉक मार्केट प्राइस सिर्फ याद रखिएगा कौन कौन से अलगोर्डम आपने यूज किया है तीसरा जो है वो है वेदर प्रोडक्शन यस सर तो आप सर साइड में अलगोर्डम भी लिख देंगे फ्लड फोरकास्ट में लाइक हमने तीन शो किया केएनएन रैंडम फॉरेस्ट और डिसीजन ट्री ओके सो बेसिकली यहाँ पर क्या है हमारा सर टॉपिक्स चलो तो हमारा ये क्या हो गया प्रोजेक्ट वन प्रोजेक्ट टू प्रोजेक्ट थ्री हो गया
राइट सो प्रोजेक्ट वन हमारा जो है ये एल्गोरिदम हम लोगों ने क्या यूज किया था वॉट वॉज दिन रैंडम फॉरेस्ट और डिसीजन ट्री नहीं रैंडम फॉरेस्ट को हम लोगों ने बेटर प्रूफ किया था ना तो वो कंपेयर yes, किया था हमारा बेसिकली होगा रैंडम फॉरेस्ट यस सर लीनियर रिग्रेशन अच्छा इसमें ग्रीड सर्च रैंडम फॉरेस्ट रैंडम फॉरेस्ट कर दो है ना सर पर ग्रीड सर्च भी तो लगाए हैं हाँ तो ग्रीड सर्च तो हमारा किस लिए ग्रीड सर्च प्रोडिक्शन ग्रीड सर्च तो प्रोडिक्शन नहीं दे रहे ओके सो ये हम लोगों ने प्रोजेक्ट बेसिकली किया ना चलिए ये हमारा बेसिकली काम कंप्लीट हुआ ये मैंने दे दिया ना आप लोगों को ना दैट्स इट दिस इज बेसिकली द कंसेप्ट मैंने आप लोगों को एक डेटा सेट दिखाया मैंने थोड़ा देर पहले ये डेटा सेट जो है इट्स वेरी सिंपल ये डेटा सेट बहुत सिंपल है देखिएगा डेटा सेट में बेसिकली ये डेटा सेट जो है एक्चुअली देखिएगा इसमें कितने सारे फीचर्स हैं सबसे पहला जो है वो एज है ना एज है उसके बाद देखिएगा क्या है जेंडर है इफ द जेंडर इज मेल देन वन फॉर मेल एंड जीरो फॉर फीमेल सी जो है वो है चेस्ट पेन टाइप चेस्ट पेन टाइप में बेसिकली क्या है जीरो जीरो है एंजिना के लिए ठीक है वन जो है वो है आपका एटिपिकल एंजिना टू जो है वो है नॉन एंजिनल पेन और थ्री जो है वो है एसिम्टोमेटिक मीन्स द चेस्ट पेन विच इज एक्चुअली शोइंग नो डिजीज और टी आर ई एस टी बीपीएस जो है ये है रेस्टिंग ब्लड प्रेशर रेस्टिंग ब्लड प्रेशर सी एच ओ एल जो है वो है कोलेस्ट्रोल एफ बी एस जो है वो है फास्ट फास्टिंग ब्लड शुगर जो है वो है रेस्टिंग इलेक्ट्रोकार्डियोग्राफी रिजल्ट राइट ओके अगर वन है तो वेव एबनॉर्मल है टू है तो पॉसिबल देर इज अ डिफेक्ट इन द लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल वेंट्रिकुलर एंड अगर जीरो है तो नथिंग और थैलेक जो है वो है एक्चुअली मॉटल हार्ट हार्ट रेट मैक्सिमम हार्ट रेट ई एक्सैंग जो है वो है एक्चुअली एक्सरसाइज इंड्यूस्ड एंजिना ओल्ड पिक जो है वो बेसिकली क्या है वो मुझे मालूम नहीं है ओल्ड पिक जो है वो क्या है बेसिकली ठीक है जो भी है स्लोप जो है वो बेसिकली क्या होता है वो एक्चुअली मीन्स जीरो है ना जीरो अगर होगा तो अप स्लोपिंग बेटर हार्ट रेट अगर वन है तो फ्लैट स्लोपिंग मिनिमम प्रॉब्लम है टिपिकली हार्ट टिपिकल हार्ट हेल्दी हार्ट और टू अगर है तो आई अनहेल्दी है मतलब जितना ऊपर जाएगा उतना ही अच्छा है ठीक है सी ए जो है वो क्या है वो है आपका कलर्ड वेसल कलर्ड वेसल ठीक है और थैल जो है वो क्या है अच्छा थैलियम थैलियम पता है ना स्ट्रेस स्ट्रेस रिजल्ट स्ट्रेस रिजल्ट और टारगेट बेसिकली क्या है टारगेट वाला देखिएगा क्या है एक्चुअली हमारा लेवल है वेदर द पर्सन इज एक्चुअली सफरिंग फ्रॉम हार्ट डिजीज और नॉट अगर वन है तो ये अगर जीरो है तो नो ये हमारा प्रोडिक्टेड एट्रीब्यूट है बेसिकली ये हमारा प्रेडिक्टेड एट्रीब्यूट है गेटिंग द पॉइंट क्लियर हो रहा है डेटा एक सेट एक बार देख लीजिए आप लोग डेटा सेट देख लीजिए सब कुछ अगर क्लियर हो जा रहा है देन हम लोग आगे बढ़ेंगे
उम्मीद करते हैं कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है डेटा में शाल आई प्रोसीड ओके या सो द सेम थिंग हियर आई विल टेक हॉट हार्ट डिजीज डिजीज प्रोडिक्शन ओके हार्ट डिजीज प्रोडिक्शन रीड अंडर स्कोर सी एस डी डेटा मेरा रीड हो जाए बस दैट सेट हमारा आधा प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व हो जाएगा ओके सी द डेटा सेट हैज बीन रेड डेटा सेट हमारा यहां पर रीड हो गया ठीक है चलो इसके ऊपर थोड़ा सा हम लोग एनालिसिस वगैरह कर लेते हैं सबसे पहले हम लोग देख लेते हैं कि हमारा डेटा का जो है वो शेप कितना है ठीक है वो देख लेते हैं डेटा का शेप कितना है रन कराते हैं लेट्स रन इट्स थ्री जीरो थ्री पॉइंट वन फोर ठीक है तीन सौ तीन रो है ठीक है अच्छा इसका टारगेट कॉलम का वैल्यू काउंट कितना है टारगेट कॉलम का वैल्यू काउंट रन करते हैं डेटा डॉट टारगेट डॉट वैल्यू अंडर स्कोर काउंट वन जो है वो वन सिक्सटी फाइव है और जीरो जो है वो वन थर्टी एट है तो क्लास इन बैलेंस ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं है इट्स आई थिंक इट्स गुड ना कोई दिक्कत नहीं है ना ओके सो ऑल इज गुड सेम थिंग ओके चलो सो हियर एवरीथिंग इज परफेक्ट इज एन ए ओके नाउ नाउ what we have to do uh, we can see that 165% with heart disease and 138 without heart disease so our problem is basically balanced right no null values also no null values also isn't it there is no null values so let's do one thing uh i will do one thing i will basically give one graph since it's data science i know it's data science okay it's data science so until and unless we give graphs it's not going to basically work it's not going to basically work so 165 of our target is basically what uh, means true i uh, means uh, suffering from heart disease and the rest is not suffering from heart disease okay so target dot count dot heart disease label where i'm going to make heart disease count counts okay so if i run this h b plot so basically what series object has no matter h b plot okay it's uh, basically h uh, b plot h b plot h b plot means basically this is not at all working okay why it's not working it must work getting the point okay let it be as it is oh okay hmm acha titanic analysis we did in which class remember titanic analysis i'm not going to repeat the course again and again hello everybody titanic the analysis of the titanic data set 
सर शायद क्लास एट में था क्या क्लास एट ओके सर लग तो रहा है सेवन या एट में से कोई एक में था सर एट में था इट वाज इन क्लास एट ओके नो प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज नो यूज ऑफ एक्चुअली repeating on this right so beta count plot target what the plot kya zarurat hai hai na एक्स्ट्रा इसके ऊपर नहीं हो रहा ये हो रहा है हमको हमारे पास तो पता ही है हमको एक्चुअली क्या करना है क्या नहीं करना है ठीक है ठीक आई नो द वे सी काउंट आई गॉट ओके सो ट्राई टू यूज दिस टाइप्स ऑफ क्या कहते हैं मैंने बोल रहा हूँ मेरे से अच्छा दिमाग यूज करिए आप लोग डेफिनेटली यूज करिएगा मैं सिर्फ मैंने एक आइडिया दे दिया आप लोगों को बेसिकली ओके गेटिंग द पॉइंट सो दिस इज बेसिकली द कंसेप्ट नो प्रॉब्लम ना नाउ आई विल गिव अ सिंगल ग्राफ एंड देन आई विल गो फॉर द प्रोडिक्शन बेसिकली अ सिंगल ग्राफ आई एम गिविंग यू बट दिस इज नॉट एक्चुअली व्हाट टू से ये इतना इजी ग्राफ नहीं है मैं मैं जो आपको देने जा रहा हूं ठीक है तो बेसिकली देखिएगा मैंने यहां पर क्या किया हुआ है try to understand the concept here i have written this okay here i have written this plt dot figure 15 by 15 ka mai graph bana raha hu for i comma ye dono ko ek sath wrap kar dega okay here i have to pass few things okay now the first thing is that i need to do what i need to actually Uh, take some data in the categorical type okay categorical data categorical data basically getting the point categorical data then this is actually going to work categorical data i have to take some categorical data so categorical data kaha kaha hai wo mere ko abhi abhi dekhna hai i have to find out the categorical data okay so suppose if i create two empty list before this na i just ये कोड से पहले मैं ये दो लगाया ठीक है कॉलम इन डेटा डॉट कॉलम इफ लेंथ इफ द लेंथ ऑफ डेटा कॉलम इफ द लेंथ ऑफ डेटा कॉलम डॉट देर इज अ मेथड कॉल्ड यूनिक टू फाइंड आउट द यूनिक वैल्यूज If it's equal to equal to, if it's equal to equal to, no. If it's greater than equal to ten, then else, just copy this code, just paste it over here in case of categorical. बस, ओके, कंटिन्यूस, राइट, रन करा देते हैं इसको, ये रन हो गया हमारा इजीली, यहाँ पर हम लोग क्या काम करेंगे? यार, आई एम गोइंग टू प्रिंट दिस कैटेगरिकल बैल, कैटेगरिकल बैल, आह, सो दिस आर द कॉलम्स विथ कैटेगरिकल बैल्स, सी, दिस आर द कॉलम्स विथ कैटेगरिकल बैल्स, गेटिंग द पॉइंट, दिस आर द कॉलम्स and i already had a code for this particular just try to understand i'm showing you this categorical value it will take some time uh, lots of graph yahan par humko mil jata this is will basically do dekhiyega yahan par kya kar raha hai sabse pehle maine kya liya hai categorical value weights an empty list a continuous value empty list for column is a variable in data dot columns 
in data dot columns in all the columns columns of the data okay if the length of the data column is unique and it is less than equal to 10 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 total if it is less than equal to 10 categorical values if it is less than equal to 10 the length of the data column is unique data columns and it is less than 10 then that will be appended inside the categorical otherwise it will be appended inside the continuous right so categorical value is something like this and if you want if you just want to print this continuous you can see these are the continuous columns <laughs> these are the continuous values column okay now here i created a figure of basically 15 by 15 okay enumerated the categorical that value than equals to 10 eq dia less than equal to 10 abhi yahan par hamara dekhiyega kya hai yahan par to bahut sara column ho sakta hai na yahan par to bahut sara column ho sakta hai getting the point to aap sabko yahan par kitna loge agar wahan par 20 30 column hai to yahan par kuch to ek margin dena padega na aap logo ko नहीं सर मतलब कैटेगोरिकल कॉलम्स मतलब आपका लेस देन इक्वल टू आपने जैसे 10 लिया तो मतलब वो कैसे पता कि वो 10 ही होगा मतलब ऐसा कोई मैटर है ही नहीं कि 10 होगा ये लीजिए वो मैंने खुद दिया था वो मैंने दिया था भाई ठीक है अगर आप चाहो आप नंबर चेंज कर लो देखिए मैंने तो चेंज कर दिया अब कम नंबर लेना कम नंबर भी ले लो अगर आपके पास 40 50 यूनिक कॉलम्स हैं ठीक है तो क्या आप 50 यूनिक कॉलम्स को यहां पर प्रिंट कर सकोगे या फिर यहां पर प्लॉट कर सकोगे आप नहीं सर तो मैंने यहां पर एक मार्जिन दे दिया था तो चलिए आपने बोला कि सर आपने 10 ही क्यों लिया तो मैंने इधर चेंज कर दिया ठीक है आप चाहो तो इसे कम नंबर भी दे सकते हो कोई प्रॉब्लम विद दिस आई हैव प्लॉटेड द ग्राफ तो देखिएगा ये क्या है ये जेंडर के हिसाब से लोग जिसको हार्ट डिजीज है या हार्ट डिजीज नहीं है जेंडर के हिसाब से बेसिकली यहां पर देखिए सीपी सीपी के हिसाब से ब्लू है तो हैव हार्ट डिजीज एंड हैव हार्ट डिजीज यस हैव हार्ट डिजीज नो ब्लू में हार्ट डिजीज नो हैव हार्ट डिजीज यस ओके गेटिंग द पॉइंट क्लियर हो रहा है सो so, यहां पर मैंने क्या किया है इंडिविजुअल इंडिविजुअल कंप्लीट करने से पहले इससे अच्छा बेटर हम लोगों ने पूरा ग्राफ को इधर प्लॉट कर दिया बेसिकली कैटेगरिकल वैल्यूज को तो 3 3 6 3 9 ठीक है क्योंकि क्योंकि वैल्यू हम लोगों ने यहां पर 10 से कम लिया था अगर यहां पर आप ले लेते हो पांच तो देखो आपका पांच ग्राफ प्लॉट होता है भी लेंथ दिया है मैंने लेंथ ऑफ डेटा दिया लेस देन यूनिक नहीं नहीं नो ही प्लॉट होगा क्यों प्लॉट होगा मैं बता रहा हूं यहां पर इफ कंडीशन मैंने लगाया है इफ इट इज लेस देन इक्वल टू 5 ठीक है इफ इट इज लेस देन इक्वल टू 5 क्या वो लेस देन इक्वल टू 5 है कैटेगरिकल वैल्यू 1 2 3 4 5 नहीं इट्स नॉट लेस देन इक्वल टू 5 ओके वी आर गेटिंग हियर 9 टोटल लेट्स रन दिस okay uh, it must now must be either it should be greater than equal to 1 and less than equal to 9 not 10 okay since we have got here 10 values na categorical mein hamara yahan par total 10 values hai so it should be less than equal to 9 तीन तीन छः तीन नौ ठीक है चलो ऐसे अल्टर हो रहा है यहाँ पे अगर मैं यहाँ पर 15 भी देता हूँ तो भी हमारा ये टोटल 9 के ऊपर ही वो काम करेगा अगर मैं यहाँ 9 दे रहा हूँ तो भी 9 के ऊपर ही काम करेगा यहाँ 100 देंगे तो भी 100 के ऊपर ही काम करेगा 5 देंगे तो भी 9 के ऊपर ही काम करेगा ओके डाउट क्लियर हुआ या सो दिस इज बेसिकली द थिंग दैट्स इट
that's it now let's do one thing ye pure cheez ko main copy kar raha hu again uh, not this one i'm copying this i'm pasting it over here categorical in place of categorical i'm changing it to continuous well Ah, see, this is the graph basically for continuous. Okay, that's it. So more or less done. Perfect. I don't need anything else. Till here, is it clear, everyone? No problem, na? Now on this, I'm going to basically apply. Uh, the data we processing, or we can say, we will actually explore the data set. We will actually explore, explore the data set, right? Explore the data set, basically. explore the data set now now from the categorical value column from the categorical value columns we have the target also as you can see over here and you can see categorical value column we have our target okay target here so what i'm going to draw do basically categorical value say main drop kar dunga target ko see i'm just dropping the target okay and now if i go for the data set dot head can you see this remember one hot encoding one hot encoding remember that we did in the first half one hot encoding one hot encoding if you want to print okay print data dot column data set that column c so you will be able to find out the difference between these two so we have dropped the target column we have dropped the target column okay and now we will scale the data okay we will scale the data basically okay we will basically scale the data scale the data how we basically scale the data how we basically scale the data from the previous code only in the previous code only just i just need to do what I just need to do what? I just need to take this values. So I'm going to take this one. Standard scale. Yeah. Using standard scalar, definitely we will scale the data. Very good. Yeah. Okay, wait. And I will take the columns like this one. This, this, this one. This, these are continuous values, no? So I need to scale this. All right. Chal. That's it. Okay, that's it. Now, now if I run this, and here I do data set dot head. Awesome! See, my data has been scaled. Please have a look. Excellent, excellent feature engineering we are doing. Just have a look. Data set has been scaled.
right? Once the data set has been scaled, the data set divided into training and the testing part. See, the data set has been divided into training and the testing part. And now here, I'm going to combine I'm going to combine some algorithms, some algorithms. Okay, I'm going to combine some algorithms basically. This is my okay. Logic Sorry. सर किसको मैं प्रेडिक्ट के लिए दूंगा एक्स टेस्ट एक्स टेस्ट और वाई अंडर स्कोर क्रेड लॉजिस्टिक रेगुलेशन आई थिंक इन क्लास जेस क्लास फाइव दिस टास्क इज डन यहां पर आते हैं हम लोग लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन हम लोगों ने कहा किया था यहां पर किया था राइट right? सो so, यहां पर बेसिकली हम लोगों ने एक्यूरेसी निकाला था सो लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन ये देखिए ये एक्यूरेसी निकालने का कोड ठीक है एक्यूरेसी निकालने का कोड हम लोग यहां पर पहुंच रहे हैं फ्रॉम एस के लर्न इम्पोर्ट मेट्रिक्स वाई टेस्ट एंड वाई प्रेड वन run this 85% accuracy i am getting 85% accuracy i am getting okay done let's go for the k nearest neighbor i think it was in js class 1 or where k nearest neighbor k nearest neighbor no this was a js class 3 js class 3 okay k nearest neighbor wait yes k nearest neighbor over here so i will copy this and i will paste it over here so we have actually what x test and y test x test x train x test y train y test okay so x train x test y train y test so i'm taking this so white thread 2 hoga white thread 2 2 kar dete hain taki hamara samajhne mein bahut behtar rahe theek hai aur sir hum iske liye input matrix to kiya hua hai so usko hum remove kar sakte hain isko ha theek hai theek hai isko hum log remove kar sakte hain okay so i run this and scopes highest accuracy kahan de raha hai wo dekhiyega 89 89% it is giving the accuracy na नाइनटीन नाइन नाइन सो डूंग नाइनटीन ओके सो ओके नियरेस्ट नेबर इट विल बी नाइनटीन तो एक्स ट्रेन फ्रॉम वाइट ट्रेन ओके एंड uh the model is trained and i'll just copy this and paste it over here so y pred 2 and here also y pred 2 but it's giving 85% accuracy sir 89 hona chahiye to Let's 
wait for some time okay sir it's giving 85 giving 85 anywhere else when it will be 89 it's giving 85 sir ye 22 wala de raha hai matlab 7 8 22 ye wala de when I'm taking the value as 20, suppose 20. Now, then what? 85. 21. 85. It's giving 22. Hmm. Categorical data. It's categorical data. Wait, wait, wait. Some problem. There is some problem. Some problem. KNN, KNN, KNN dot fit. We have trained the model. Why true? We have given a prediction on the X test and we have pointed the accuracy. Here, K nearest neighbor is not working. Categorical data, hai na? Yeah, but K nearest neighbor basically work karna chahiye tha basically. Its accuracy constant rahe ja hai. It's not working. It's not working. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, how do we? Chinta karne ki koi zarurat nahi hai. Usse algorithm kar lijiye. Constant ho sakta hai to. This is what our K nearest neighbor is basically giving. I don't think K nearest neighbor accuracy is going to increase anymore. Yeah, it's not going, its accuracy will not be increased. Okay, next. Next. Next, we'll go for it's a random decision tree. No, no, random forest decision tree. Usko ap compare nahi karenge. So, okay, usko rehne dete hain. What do you say? Yes, sir. Okay, we random tree decision, random forest decision tree. Usko rehne dete hain. Filal, ab usse usko at least usme karne ki koi zarurat nahi. Sirf random forest decision tree. We did a lot. Okay. Sir, SVM. Sir, SVM. Sir, SVM ko compare karenge. Yes, we will compare SVM. SBM. SBM. So here it's yes, class five. SBM, where we did it in class four? Yes, sir, I think. Nah, you have salary data. Hai. Then class seven. I think in class six. In class six. Class six. First of all, let's see class seven. Ah, here it is. From SKLR import SVC. Okay, in that CLF I took actually. Uh, here it's not not linear okay it's rba rba okay the value of c i have taken okay from this y underscore train is not defined so why i need to keep it small so fit uh, Ready. Now to pass this. Okay, and I will just copy this. Okay, so I'm going for y pred three. Run this. It is giving eighty seven percent, eighty seven percent accuracy. What was the accuracy of? Uh, it was eighty five. Logistic regression 85.71. Here it was giving 85.71. Here it is giving 87.91. Okay, perfect. Here it is giving 87. Point. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. So it's giving high now. Gamma equal to 0 0.01. If I run this 87.91. 0, 0.01. If I give it's decreasing 0 0.01. Okay, 87.91 means about a uh, near about 88 percent accuracy. It is giving 88, it's giving 88 percent accuracy. Okay, it's giving 88 percent accuracy. 
perfect it's giving a 8 percent accuracy i'm not going to compare right now those are decision tree random forest i'm not going to compare okay getting the point okay it is very you know, means what to say decision tree random forest are basically means what i will not compare decision tree if you say i will compare random forest over here okay i will compare this random forest random forest getting the point but i am not going to compare the decision tree okay let's compare the random forest okay let's random forest basically so random forest classifier i will just frame the model just frame the model Let's see. Uh, here, random forest is not at all working. Okay, so here SVM is giving a very high classification. SVM support vector machine. So that's it. Here, support vector machine will be applied for this data, this particular data. With this number of features let me give you a 500 tree 500 no the same thing same thing okay so this types of data that's it no problem no hello no sir Okay, so I think this particular project is completed. It is basically completed. Okay, it's uh, showing very nice. So here, basically, That's it. Yeah, perfect. That's it. Darshan, Rohit, tell me. How is it? Uh, how is it? Sir, uh, interesting, sir. <laughs> interesting? Sir, sir, can we use a hair uh, Exiboost? Yes, you can use Exiboost. You can use yes, exit of lots of classification algorithms, sir. Okay, I have showed you the prediction using these types of algorithms. These are the most commonly used. Exit boost is rare, rarely, rarely used. It is. Can you share this also? Yes, if I will share definitely. Definitely, I will share. Okay, don't worry. Definitely, I will share. I will share each and everything. Getting the point. So before sharing this, I would just like to ask means whether if anybody is any fishing and problem. No, sir, not problem, sir. All clear, sir. Everything is clear. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So this is what we actually did. Okay. This is what we basically did, and we tried to do. We tried to do all these things. Okay. So, so no problem basically, no problem with all these things. We hope so. Okay, we are doing excellent, or we did excellent basically. Okay, we did excellent in all these fields. 
okay so it was a better part right isn't it what about the rest of the people hello hello what about the rest of the people was good was it? it was good yeah clear okay see here i have done one more thing i have tried to do i have tried to compare the accuracy okay that's what i was basically doing see here i have written this logistic regression here i have taken this uh, okay so again i will take this same code okay i will paste it over here so i compared this logistic regression i compared this k nearest neighbor and now i am going to compare this svm svm it is inside y plot 3 okay y plot 3 so svm here i will go for svm svm okay model and accuracy and here i will give y plot 3 right if i run this so i am getting c something like this when i copy paste this and here i will write random forest random forest and here i will give it four Okay, and if I run this, so see, I have compared the model. I showed this. Basically, it looks nice, na? That this is these are my models. These are my accuracies. Okay, so that's it. Okay, that's it. So SBM is proving to be the best. That's it. No, no issue. Okay, so perfect. That's it. We have finally completed all these things. And hope so. this has been a uh, excellent means you have understood all these things very well right no problem with all these things na see so this was basically what it was actually heart disease prediction heart yes, disease yes sir ye aap jo matlab ke matlab ek data frame jo banaye sir isko ek matlab ek single line ka matlab code mein bhi bana sakte hai matlab ek hi mein matlab alag alag aise matlab to zarurat nahi hai ek hi baat koi baat nahi koi problem nahi hai maine maine dekhi maine agar single line ka code mein nahi banaya hai theek hai तो मैंने क्या किया है देखिए जब जब मेरा मॉडल का एक्यूरेसी निकला है तब तब मैंने डेटा फ्रेम में रिप्रेजेंट किया डेटा फ्रेम में रिप्रेजेंट कर दिया सर गॉट इट जब जब मेरा मॉडल का एक्यूरेसी निकला है तब तब मेरा डेटा फ्रेम में रिप्रेजेंटेड है जब मेरा मॉडल का एक्यूरेसी निकला तब मेरे लिए एक डेटा फ्रेम बना जब मेरा मॉडल का एक्यूरेसी निकला तब मेरे लिए एक डेटा फ्रेम गेटिंग द पॉइंट मैंने क्या किया यस सर यस सर गॉट इट ओके सो आई डिड दिस थिंग बेसिकली ओके सो जब जब मैंने डेटा फ्रेम बनाया है तब तब मैंने अपना क्या किया रिप्रेजेंटेशन किया मतलब जब जब मैंने एक एक्यूरेसी निकला आई हैव गिवन द रिप्रेजेंटेशन सो दैट यू कैन डू अकॉर्डिंग टू योर विश आल्सो नो प्रॉब्लम ठीक है सो आई थिंक आई हैव जितना मैंने आप लोगों को बताया है बेसिकली जितना मैंने आप लोगों को बताया है आई थिंक उतना काफी है ये डेटा फ्रेम तो आप लोग इजीली बना सकिएगा इजीली राइट सो Project four. Heart disease prediction. Project four is basically heart disease prediction, and this is using SVM support vector machine. Okay, support vector machine. Got it? Same curly. So support vector machine and plus. We have compared these two. Huh? These two kind of comparison is like basically support vector machine and logistic regression. Okay, so I am sending you all these things. Just a second. This was actually hard disease prediction, na? Data set. I have sent. Is it your heart dot csv? Sir, not sent. I am sending. Okay. भेजा आप दोनों को ठीक है आफ्टर दैट मैं आपको क्या भेजना है मुझे आई हैव सेंड दिस हार्ट प्रेडिक्शन एंड आई हैव सेड दिस सेंड दिस हार्ट डिजीज आल्सो एंड दिस प्रोजेक्ट जस्ट प्रोजेक्ट लिस्ट
ओके देखिए ग्रुप में मिल गया होगा उम्मीद करते हैं आपको जस्ट सेकेंड अभी आप लोग अटेंडेंस ले लेते हैं ओके अनुषा बेरा जायद सिद्दीकी श्रेष्ठा पोदार अनुषा बेरा प्रेजेंट श्रेष्ठा पोदार प्रेजेंट सर ओके सृष्टि बोस प्रेजेंट सर आदित्य नारायण दास प्रेजेंट भवतो सरकार प्रेजेंट 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 सर ओके बुधा प्रेजेंट देवज्योति शाह प्रेजेंट देवोपम दास प्रेजेंट देवज्योति शाह प्रेजेंट देवोपम दास प्रेजेंट दीपी रंजन प्रेजेंट कौशिक देवनाथ प्रेजेंट सर प्रेजेंट आर मी प्रतीक सेठ प्रेजेंट प्रतीक्षा घोष प्रेजेंट प्रतीक्षा घोष प्रेजेंट ओके प्रत्यय इज प्रेजेंट प्रयास प्रयास यस सर यस सर ओके प्रयास प्रेजेंट आर सेइंग Rishin Haldar is present. Rohish Ray. Present, sir. Rohish. Okay. Present. Rohan Sarkar. Shanchita Dutta present. Saptoshri Sen, ache. Saptoshri Sen. Shanchita present. Saptoshri Sen. No. Shyam Chakraborty. Shyam Chakraborty present. Okay. Shivalika present. Shubham Chaudhary present. त्रिदीप्त मंडल सौरदीप नहीं सूर्यदीप रॉय सूर्यदीप रॉय अच्छा त्रिप्त मंडल प्रेजेंट आकाश चटर्जी प्रेजेंट आनंद मोहन झा प्रेजेंट अंगना दास प्रेजेंट अनिकेत मिश्रा यस सर ओके Orindam Singh present, Aritra Ghosh present, yes sir. Arvind Kumar Misra present, Ayush Milan present, Bilal Ahmed present. Yes sir, Bilal Ahmed is present. Okay, yeah, present, present. Darshan present, Gargi present, Gargi Devnath, Jit Saha present. Megha ache? Megha? Yes sir. ओके ओके मोहित मोहित सहल मोहित सहल अच्छा जीत सर सफल यहाँ पे तो दे चले है जीत सहल दे दीजिए निखिल कुमार प्रेजेंट पंकज घोष प्रेजेंट यस सर पंकज घोष निखिल कुमार प्रेजेंट सर या प्रेजेंट प्रेजेंट रेशमी प्रेजेंट राकेश रोशन प्रेजेंट सर पंकज घोष प्रभात इज़ आल्सो प्रेजेंट पंकज घोष इज़ आल्सो प्रेजेंट संजना रानी प्रेजेंट सर रोहित पाल दिए थे रोहित पाल दिए दी थी ओके सर शब्दरोशी कुंडू आ चें शब्दरोशी कुंडू शब्दरोशी कुंडू शब्दरोशी राय रेशमी प्रेजेंट रेशमी यू आर प्रेजेंट शायन बाग प्रेजेंट शायनी घोष प्रेजेंट श्रेय कुमार बर्नवाल प्रेजेंट सिमरन कुमारी प्रेजेंट Sneha Goswami, present. Yes, sir, present. Okay, Shoti Samantho, present. Saurabh Bhag, absent. Shubhas Samal. Yes, what happened? Sumit Kumar. Rakesh Rasan, present. Sumit Kumar. Sumit Kumar, present. Suraj Maiti. Yes, sir, Suraj Maiti. Present. वरदान वरदान सासत प्रेजेंट सर ओके रिधिमान घोष प्रेजेंट रिधिमान घोष प्रेजेंट नाउ कल दी एनीबॉडी एल्स हु इज देयर सर सुभाषिस पाल सुभाषिस पाल प्रेजेंट आचो सर आगे क्लास आई प्रेजेंस लो आपने नाम लेने में डिवाइस चेंज करते हैं कि आपने प्रेजेंट देर नहीं सुभाषिस पाल तुम ही तो सुभाषिस पाल तो तुम ही तो दूसरा टाइम ही प्रे� ओ सर अभी मोहित को ही नहीं हमलोग प्रेजेंट दें नहीं अभी पूरे डिवाइस सेंस को अपने रिप्लाई कॉलर ना हमलोग एब्सेंट कर दिए थे ना ना होते ही पड़े ना आमारे घर ना तो आमी अटेंडेंस दवार पढ़ आमारे आमी चेक करी किंतु 
ठीक है ऑटोमेटिकली ओके डोंट वरी थैंक यू सर हेलो सर हम प्रदीप बोल रहे हैं हेलो हेलो यस प्रतीक सेट प्रेजेंट सर आगे क्लास है सर हमी नेटवर्क के दिनों में बिरिया के चला प्रतीक तुम्हारे माइक खराब चला हमी प्रेजेंट दी दी चीज तुम्हारे ओके 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 प्रेजेंट दी दी चीज नॉर्मल आर क्या चे सेना को सेना को सामी प्रेजेंट आते हैं रूपम सरकार यू आर आल्सो प्रेजेंट डोंट वरी ओके डोंट वरी anybody else is left anybody else hello anybody else left no one okay chalo theek hai हेलो सर हेलो सर हेलो हेलो सर एमसीक्यू टा आज के मध्य जिकोनो समय को ले हो बे ना कि साढ़े चार टेन मोते को उठता हो बे कौन समय दिया करो जीत सर के कौनो उठता हो बे जीत सर के फोन कर बे पर जीत सर के एक बार टेक्स्ट कर दे बे उन्हीं रिप्लाई कर दे No questions. So, आज का तो सेशन बहुत ही अच्छा हुआ, right? ठीक है, कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है। We have done excellent. We have done four projects. Okay, those are not bad basically. Okay, we have done excellent one. Welcome, welcome, Rakesh. Welcome. Sir, you also explain so very much well, sir. <laughs> No, no, we Rohit, understand so much, so much complex things also. See, Rohit, you all are very good. You all are excellent. Means you means devotion. You all are means excellent. Okay, you are a very nice guy. You are a very nice person, Rohit. You Darshan, you all are very nice person. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Wish you all a very good career in future, success in future. And if you think you face any problem related to studies and all these things, you are free to ask me. No problem with that. Okay, I'm always there for your help. Okay, okay sir. In if uh, in future any problem happens, then yeah. we will contact in yeah, uh, WhatsApp direct message. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Okay, sir. No problem. Darshan, you are also a good, very nice person. Very good person, Darshan. Okay. Okay, so it's only because of you all people, you know, it's only because of you, Shrey, Darshan, Rohit, everybody that this this session has become a success one. Okay, each and everything, each and every program executed, everybody understood all the things, all the notes, all the projects, programs, data sets, everything. You all were amazing. You all were amazing. You always keep on communicating with me. You kept on motivating me okay you also help me sir apne yahan galat ho gaya hai sir aapko yahan thoda theek kariye always i received one support from you okay it's only because of you that this has become a success hmm. this whole sir okay sir yes, can Darshan. we leave actually ji sir has just now told that we have to give exam within 4:30 within 4:30 to fatafat de dijiye na yes sir yes sir sir can we leave yes 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 de yes. dijiye fatafat de dijiye ठीक है एकदम सर 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 थैंक थैंक यू यू प्लीज चेक माय अटेंडेंस मैंने आपको प्रेजेंट कर दिया इसलिए आप एकदम चिंता मत करो ओके ओके ओके
Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. Take care of yourself, everybody. Take care of yourself. Wish you all success in future. Thank you. VP. Thank you. Thank you, Shreya. Thank you. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Say hello. Hello, sir. Suryadeep, are you telling something? Sir, hello. Uh, hello, sir. Uh, yeah. Present Chilam. Present Hello, sir. Sir, I'm Sani Ghosh. Present, present, present. 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 Hello? Hello, sir. Suredip, hello. Suredip, I'm going to do time to present. No, sir. I'm going to do the high chart. I'm going to do the high chart. I'm going to do the high chart. I'm going to the high chart. I'm going to do the high chart. I'm going to do the Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm check for the attendance present. Are Shiny? 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 I'm present for the huh? Okay, okay. Sure, they come to present for the Chi. Chica, thank you, sir. Okay, well, take care of yourself, everybody, huh? Cholo, cholo, cholo.